this tute's going to look at how to describe distributions. Now there's a few different things that you can look for when you're describing how a graph looks, be it a histogram, a dot plot, a box plot, a stem and leaf plot. They all follow generally the same principles of how to describe them. And you'll talk about shape of the distribution. You'll also talk about the presence of outliers, whether there are any outliers that you can see. And you might talk about the center so where roughly all the data is centered around, be that mean or median or mode. Um, and you'll also talk about the spread. So how far spread out it is. Is it, is it all smushed up close together or is it really far spread out? What's the range like? Things like that. So let's start by looking at shape. The shape of a distribution will generally be one of three kinds of looks to it. It might have more than one peak and things like that. We'll come to that, but generally, it will have one of these three shapes. Now this one here, if you notice, it basically looks exactly the same on the left as it does on the right. It's symmetrical. And that's what we call a distribution when it's balanced, when the center of the data is actually in the center of the graph and roughly either side of that center point, that kind of concentration of where a high peak of data is, um, roughly on either side it's, it's balanced. Then we have these other two distributions here. Now if you'll notice these ones kind of lean either side. This one we've got a whole bunch of data here and then it kind of tapers off going this way. It goes Whoa, down the hill. And then this one we've kind of got uh, a concentration of data here like this is quite a high point in this section and then it goes off kind of in this direction. So there's not a lot in the low figures and then it builds up and it builds up and it builds up and it builds up. So do you see the difference between this, which is symmetrical, it's roughly the same, you know, this one's small, this one's small, then they build up, then they build up, they're getting higher and higher, and then right here in the middle is actually where the middle is. But if you look at this one, the center of this data, there's a lot of data clustered over here, it's clumped up over here. So the center is not actually in the middle, it's bunched over here. And the same for this one, the middle would be there of the graph, so to speak, in terms of visually where's the middle of it. But the center of the data, where the data is clustered, is over here on the right hand side. So symmetrical distributions are these ones which are balanced. And these ones have a skew, and they're positively skewed and negatively skewed. Now how do you tell? This is the way I do it. Put your pen on the hump, on the concentration of the data, where the sort of peaky part is, and then have a look which way the tail is going. You basically, you want to snowboard down the hill, right? You want a skateboard, billy cart, whatever it is. You're in some kind of sports equipment thing that's going to be a whole lot of fun. Go down the direction of the hill, whee, that you want to go in and point an arrow. Which way is your arrow pointing? Is it pointing towards positive numbers or negative numbers? This one is pointing in the direction of positive numbers. So it's positively skewed. Positively skewed. This one, okay, so where's the peak of the data, the kind of bulk of it? It's up here. Okay, do I want to go that way down the hill? No, because that's just a quick drop, right? That's going to be falling off a cliff. No fun. So we want to go down here like this. Whoa! And then we draw an arrow. Which way is the arrow pointing? Towards negative numbers. So it's negatively skewed. Negatively skewed. So here's three more distributions. Let's describe the shape of these. This first one here on the left, is it symmetrical, positively skewed, or negatively skewed? Well, symmetrical means that it's roughly balanced with the peak of the data, the bulk of it being kind of in the middle. And this is not in the middle, it's over to this one side. And we've got this kind of hill situation where you can see a slope. So I'm gonna put my pen on the top and I'm gonna go snowboarding or skiing or whatever, wee down the hill and point an arrow. Which way is my arrow pointing? It's pointing towards, I've gone down the hill in the direction of negative numbers, I've gone that way. So this is negatively skewed. And when I say positive numbers, negative num numbers, which way you're pointing, I mean when you draw a number line or you draw a not a number line, a, a scale, and you're putting numbers along here. If you've got zero in the center, one, two, three, four, the numbers increase positively this way, and the negative one, negative two, negative three. This is what I'm talking about. On a number scale, on a number line, positive numbers go that way and negative numbers go that way. So that's what I'm talking about with this going down the hill, which way is the arrow pointing. This one here, what's the shape? It's symmetrical, right? Because it's 
roughly balanced either side and it's it's all kind of even it looks nice and neat it looks the same on either side that makes it symmetrical this one here what is it well it looks kind of like this but the opposite way so of course put our pan on the top here we go wee down the hill we don't want to go off the cliff gray way you go down the long side of the hill the fun way which way is your arrow pointing it's pointing towards positive numbers so it's positively skewed in case you're wondering why I'm saying do this skiing thing instead of just looking at the numbers I find a lot of my students have found it a little bit tricky when you just look off because for example this one we know we've worked it out already this is negatively skewed right but if you look at the data it kind of looks like the data is clumped towards positive numbers it's really tempting to think because the data is climbing this way that it might be positively skewed because we're going in a positive direction but don't be fooled don't think about climbing and which way the data is climbing again over here the cluster looks like it's towards negative numbers so it's really tempting to think that this is negatively skewed and so this is where a lot of confusion comes up but you can't go wrong if you think to yourself wee 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 down the mountain right so always put your pen on the top do something fun going down the mountain whatever it happens to be snowboarding whatever which way is the arrow pointing that's the direction you want to be going in. This this is negatively skewed. This, fun on the mountain, down in the billy cart, which way is my arrow pointing? Positive direction. It's the easiest way to think about it. Now shape works the same way no matter which graphical representation you're using for your data. Ultimately we had a list of data points and we choose to draw a histogram with them or a stem and leaf plot or a box plot or a dot plot or any of these kinds of things the shape is still going to be the same no matter how we are visually representing it and so you can say things like symmetrical positively skewed negatively skewed based on one of these other kind of diagrams as well and I'll show you what I mean this this distribution here is symmetrical right the box plot for this would look something like this so we have roughly the median the middle being kind of in the center the box either side is roughly even See that box plot there is all kind of matching. It's all balanced. These either side of the box are kind of even and either of the whiskers are kind of even. It's all really symmetrical. This one down here, we know this was the negatively skewed one. A box plot for this would look, okay, well, here's the cluster of the data. So our median's somewhere there-ish. This box part's pretty short and this tail's really short. And then we've got oh, a bit of a longer box part and then we've got this long tail. So that is what a box plot looks like when it's negatively skewed. And the same thing works. You put your pen roughly where the center of the data is and you travel down the hill. So is the down the hill this way or this way? Well, it's going to be down the longest part of the whisker. So we go wee, 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 this way. Which way is our arrow pointing towards negative numbers, negatively skewed? The same works over here. What does a box plot look like that's positively skewed? Well, the median, the center of it is somewhere here. We've got a short little box part and a short little whisker. And we've got a longer box part and a really long whisker. So that is a positively skewed um, box plot. And the same thing would work if you were looking at that box plot without the histogram there to help you. And you said, OK, which way is this going? Put your pen on there and try to travel as far as you can. Are you going to travel further going this way or going this way? This is going to be the fun way. Wee, 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 wee. And that's the way your arrow is pointing. So that's positively skewed. This one, if you travel in either direction, it's all going to be much of a muchness because it's symmetrical. When you see a dot plot, going along with dots coming up it's going to look very very similar to a histogram so a symmetrical one is going to look something like this it's basically the histogram but just without the boxes drawn around the dots we've actually just got a dot for each one of these each frequency of this data point right so a symmetrical dot plot looks balanced either side a negatively skewed dot plot looks like a whole heap of dots skewed to one side of it and then them tapering off in an, one of the other directions like this and again put your pen on the top of the hill and go sliding down the hill and point your arrow a, a dot plot that is uh, positively skewed again cluster of dots around a particular peak and then tapering off going in one direction same way to work it out put your pen on the top of the hill fun way down the hill point an arrow which way is it pointing 
and of course shape works the same for a stem plot, a stem and leaf plot. So we're used to seeing them like this, there's some numbers here, one, two, three, four, something like that, and there's a cluster of data in the, just drawing that up for you, this is a symmetrical stem and leaf plot and as you can see we've got the bulk of the data because there's more numbers sitting against this number three the bulk of the data is in the middle here and then it's kind of balanced each side it kind of follows that trend if you look at it sideways just tilt your head bear with me it's kind of the same shape here it's like this little teepee tent thing right it kind of go all goes up the hill and then it goes down the hill so it works the same way and this would be symmetrical what about for a negatively skewed one? Your cluster of major numbers where the most data points are is going to be up near the top somewhere. Like this here, we've got the bulk of the data up the top and then it tapers off going down towards negative numbers, going towards lower numbers. So this is negatively skewed. What about for the positively skewed? the cluster of data, the main sort of peak of it, where the hump of it is, is going to be down towards the lower numbers. And if you have a look at this one, we've got the hump of it, the main part of the hill, the height, the peak, things like that over here, and it tapers away going towards positive numbers, higher numbers. So this one is positively skewed. You can use the same method to work it out when you've got a back-to-back -back stem and leaf plot like I've got here. So if you were asked to describe the distribution of these two, Let's start with having a look at the one on the right, this one here. What's the shape of this? Is it symmetrical, positively skewed, or negatively skewed? Well, it's roughly balanced, isn't it? We've got the peak of it, the hump is kind of here, this is where the major part of the hill is, and then it's tapering off this way, and it's tapering off this way in kind of a balanced, even sort of way. So this, this side is symmetrical. What about over this side? Well, I can see it's got a skew to it, but is it positive or negative? How do I work it out? I put my pen where the peak, the hump of the hill is, and I see which way it's tapering off. It's tapering off in this direction, which is going in the direction of positive numbers. These numbers are increasing going this way, and they're decreasing going that way. So we're increasing, we're going towards higher numbers, which makes this positively skewed.